A fishy kick, a spicy jolt and a smoky sweetness, these unassuming foods will take your scrambled eggs to the next level. Almost as ubiquitous on scrambled eggs as salt and pepper, hot sauce should still be touted as one of the best additions if you want a little extra kick in the morning. While a splash of hot sauce on morning eggs isn't anything new for some of us, Tabasco sauce in particular has the right balance of red pepper and vinegar that cuts right into the egg's flavour and knocks out any sort of blandness. While there is a veritable library of hot sauces out there, it might be safe to say that Tabasco seems to be made for scrambled eggs. How about some egg beaters in Tabasco? That's fine. Even among the most devout hot sauce aficionados, Tabasco is still a popular addition for those who want their breakfast to come with a touch of heat. And though hot, Tabasco isn't usually an eye-watering, throat-scalding kind of hot sauce, depending, of course, on your spice tolerance. The makers of Tabasco have been using the same recipe for more than 150 years, and we're willing to bet scrambled eggs were probably one of the first things they tried it on. As avid breakfast eaters, we've been enjoying the eternally classic combo of bacon and eggs so long that it's hardwired into our brains. But this perfect pairing is actually the result of a public relations push in the 1920s to sell more bacon. But who can argue with the salty, often crunchy strips of bacon that just pair naturally with a plate of steaming, fluffy eggs? Throw in a side of toast and some orange juice and you've got a full breakfast. But if these two early morning staples go well next to each other, how do they measure up? mixed together quite well, we must say. It's not uncommon to see bacon crumbled onto a fresh plate of scrambled eggs or even mixed in while cooking them on the stove. Just be careful with the amount of bacon grease that gets mixed with the eggs. Too much leaves you with something more oily and less appetizing. The best method involves cooking the bacon ahead of time, almost to the point of drying it out. This will not only lessen the amount of grease, but also make the bacon crispy and easy to crumble so you can add the bits into or onto your eggs. I can't think of anything more noble to go to war over than bacon and eggs. Whether you call them scallions or green onions, these beauties go great with scrambled eggs. Though they're part of the onion family, green onions aren't packing nearly as oniony a flavour when compared to their more bulbous cousins. That's not to say green onions aren't packing any flavour, much to the contrary. What makes green onions such an ideal addition to scrambled eggs is that their flavour can change in subtle ways depending on how you use them. Chopped and sprinkled raw onto a plate of eggs, green onions maintain their slight onion flavour and even add a fresh crunch when compared to the soft scramble. When green onions are cooked, however, an interesting transformation takes place. Allowing green onions to sauté at a lower heat with butter lets them caramelise and brings out an earthier sweetness. The sweetness isn't too overwhelming, though. Instead, it adds a totally new dimension to the more savoury scrambled eggs. The colours of bell peppers are more than just for show. It turns out that each shade of bell pepper brings a different set of flavours to the table, something to note when pairing them with scrambled eggs. Each colour also represents a different level of a pepper's ripeness, which is something to consider when preparing your egg dish. Green peppers are the most common and the most bitter. However, green peppers can be paired well with sweeter onions, especially when sautéed and caramelised, before you add them to your eggs. Yellow peppers are known for their sweetness, and while they can can be cooked, they can also be served raw. Orange peppers are not as sweet as yellow peppers, but they do look better mixed into eggs. Finally, if there's one pepper that should be highly recommended, it's the red pepper. At its ripest, a red pepper is not only high in flavour, but also high in nutrition, and it adds a strong splash of colour to your breakfast. Salting eggs is often a highly debatable topic. Do you put salt in the batter while cooking or just salt to taste after the eggs are done? Do you risk making your eggs bland or creating a watery egg island because salt pushes out the egg's moisture? Cooks and chefs, pros and homemakers may all have their own methods when it comes to salting scrambled eggs. But apparently, the true masters reach for the soy sauce before the salt shaker. Quite possibly one of the most common ingredients in a professional chef's repertoire, soy sauce offers up all the flavour enhancements of salt without as high of a sodium content.
Not only that, but soy sauce is also able to fully spread itself out in scrambled eggs in a way that salt just can't. As granules, even in high numbers, salt always leaves gaps where your scrambled eggs go unseasoned and maybe become lacklustre for flavour. As a liquid, however, soy sauce can fully coat the eggs, giving every bite a well-seasoned taste. Speaking of salty sauces to add to your eggs, if you want a more British kick to your scramble and a bit more complexity, consider using Worcestershire sauce. This long-celebrated English import is made for more savoury, hardier foods like steaks, burgers and vegetables, such as tomatoes and eggplant. It's also a key ingredient in many Caesar salad dressings, but Worcestershire can add a lot of inner umami to eggs too. Unlike soy sauce, Worcestershire is more than just fermented soy. While each version of Worcestershire is different, the majority of key ingredients include onion, garlic, sugar, molasses, malt vinegar and anchovies. With added spices and different levels of sugar and salt, the concoction makes for a tangy, spicy and savoury taste. If you feel the need to experiment with your eggs, then Worcestershire is a place to start. While some may see parsley as mere decoration for an entree, this herb is another classic scrambled egg addition used either as a topping or in the mix. What makes parsley in particular such a popular herb for eggs is its ability to lend a brighter, earthier yet light taste to more savoury eggs. Parsley adds its own flavours and aromas to the dish without overpowering the entire palate. Not only that, but parsley is considered a soft herb, meaning that you can eat the entire plant, stem and all. You don't have to worry about picking off the leaves either, as you can chop up the entire plant as an ingredient. Note that parsley is one of those herbs that is a bit too light for the frying pan. Too much heat can pull out parsley's appealing colour and light flavour. Even worse, the heat risks completely drying out the parsley, making it brittle and unflavorful to your eggs. When it comes to the best way to add parsley to your scrambled egg dish, consider a simple chop and a garnish just before your eggs are served. There's parsley. Several vegetables go well with scrambled eggs, as does a kick of spice. But what if you want that whole medley all at once? Look no further than a jar of store-bought or even homemade salsa. And just because it's salsa doesn't mean it has to have some heat to it. Check out your local grocery section and you'll see salsas with a wide array of textures, ingredients and spice levels. If you want to go even further, making your own salsa is far easier than you think, provided you know the basics. Plus, that gives you total control as to what vegetables, level of heat and consistency of salsa you want to add to your eggs. What's also great about salsa is the versatility you get in how it's added to your eggs. Mexican-style salsa, which usually has tomatoes, cilantro, jalapeno peppers, salt and onion, can easily be cooked into your scrambled eggs, creating an even heat and even changing the flavour of the salsa as it cooks. Italian-style salsa, commonly made with olive oil, capers, garlic, lemon juice or vinegar, is best served as a condiment alongside them. If you really want to talk about the sheer level of options and a veritable rainbow of flavours, then look no further than cheese to add to your scrambled eggs. Quite possibly more than any previous ingredient, cheese has got to be one of the most beloved egg additions, from omelettes to frittatas. What truly helps, though, is knowing which cheeses pair well with eggs and which ones work better as a light garnish. Cheddar is a classic through and through. Its flavour ranges from mild to sharp, and it lends a deep orange hue to scrambled eggs' yellow colouring. Depending on the cheese, it may not melt particularly well, though. Cheddar tends to work better as more of a garnish atop your eggs. Meltier cheeses like Gouda and mozzarella practically marble into scrambled eggs, creating that cheesy, gooey texture that looks so appetising in TV commercials for breakfast restaurants. Another great cheese that melts well and has a great taste is Swiss, which is no wonder considering it's a staple in fondues. It's worth noting that beyond the the standard holy Swiss cheese that initially comes to mind, there are hundreds of varieties of cheese made in Switzerland. What's great about adding cheese to your scrambled eggs is that you decide exactly which cheese works best for you. If you want to avoid being that person who stinks up the office break room by microwaving leftover salmon, consider folding those seafood scraps into your scrambled eggs. A breakfast scramble is one of those dishes where eggs mix well with almost any kind of leftover food. Salmon is absolutely one of those kind of leftovers. Heck, even making it fresh for the sole purpose of adding it to scrambled eggs is still totally valid. There are several different types of salmon to consider, from Atlantic to coho. You'll also need to decide whether to use fresh or 
or smoked salmon, which has an entirely different sort of flavour. It should be no surprise for the health conscious that salmon is known to contain a high level of omega-3 fatty acids, which is equivalent to getting some high-grade lubrication for your arteries. Not only that, but salmon also contains high levels of B12, a key vitamin used by the body to create healthier red blood cells and promote a healthier brain. While these days seafood is rather expensive, even half a pound of leftover salmon can do wonders for your breakfast the following morning. Spinach mixed with scrambled eggs is another widely enjoyed change-up. Not only is it tasty, but it is also a great way to make sure you're getting your regular dose of vitamins and nutrients. While eggs tout plenty of protein, spinach contains a high number of essential vitamins that we tend to miss as part of our daily nutrition. Antioxidants, vitamins A, C and K and B complex vitamins are part of spinach's nutritional makeup. Consuming foods high in these vitamins promotes muscle growth and bone health, as well as healthier and younger looking skin. But enough about health. How does it taste? Well, when paired with cheese or other vegetables, spinach helps make your scrambled eggs a bit more hearty. But if you're going to add spinach into your eggs, remember to cook the spinach beforehand. Spinach is a leafy vegetable that reduces after a few minutes of heat. As it reduces, it will shed all of its water content. So unless you want your cooked eggs to really be swimming, add the spinach after cooking it. Avocado is one of those universal ingredients that seems to go great with almost anything. From a simple piece of toast to the inside of a generously stuffed burrito. So naturally, avocado lends its own unique flavor, nutrients and creamy texture when added to your eggs. In fact, eggs and avocado are a healthy, nutritious tag team powerhouse. You're not only getting your proteins, but also plenty of healthy fats and minerals like magnesium, zinc and selenium. An egg-avocado combo provides health benefits benefits like improving your general mood and sharpening your brain by helping create feel-good chemicals like dopamine. As good as this combination is for your body and mind, just try not to eat it every single day. Avocado is still high in fats and eggs still contain a level of bad cholesterol. But like any food, if you make it part of a balanced meal plan each week, you'll be able to enjoy the benefits while avoiding the drawbacks of overindulgence. Speaking of overindulgence, while you can have avocado as a garnish or mix-in, the two are also perfect ingredients for a breakfast burrito.